Hi, we're here in Synaptics headquarters in San Jose, California. We're in our demo room uh, and uh, we're gonna be, I, I would like to talk to you today about our edge computing SOCs, the AS3XX uh, uh, family that we announced uh, at CES uh, this year. Uh, the AS3XX uh, has uh, neural network capabilities enabled by a dedicated MPU and today I'm going to show you a couple of use cases that can use that uh, MPU. I'm going to start uh, by uh, showing you uh, local ASR functionalities. Uh, by a local ASR, we're talking about the ability to run voice control using natural language uh, on the device itself without relying on a cloud. Of course, it can be done in a hybrid approach where a cloud is available as well. Uh, and certain portions of the uh, language can be handled locally, such as control of devices in the home, like I'm going to show you today. And the rest of it would rely on the cloud for things such as streaming music, uh, checking the weather, doing a Wikipedia search and a variety of other Go uh, Google or other uh, s uh, Internet services. So for home control, we have this running here on the AS3XX, and I'm going to show you a demonstration using an engine uh, provided by a company called Snips based in Paris. Jarvis, open the windows. As you can see, um, I, uh, I'm using a trigger word, which is Jarvis in this case, and I'm just using natural language. Uh, I'm not, it's not keyword based where I'm saying Jarvis windows open. I'm rather using natural language. I could be saying things such as Jarvis, it's freezing. So I did not say Jarvis increase the temperature or something like that. It understood enough about the language to know that when I say it's freezing, I wanted to tur turn the thermostat on and increase the temperature. That's the idea behind the local ASR.